seems ironic that while our finest young men are fighting halfway across the world, other young men and women, safe at home, openly advocate abandonment of Vietnam to communism. Perhaps they really don't know what this war is all about. In the words of a battle-weary young Marine, they would understand if they'd cross this 10,000 miles of ocean and live with us. A day in Vietnam. This day, this trip, is not to delineate the why of Vietnam. Rather, it is to see the what and the how of our military operations to give you a deeper insight into this war and the way it is being fought. While the coordinated effort of all Americans in Vietnam is vital to success, it is the young men of our Navy Marine Corps team that we will see firsthand today, down there in Vietnam. We've landed on the big airfield at Da Nang and we'll travel directly to the headquarters of the 3rd Marine Amphibious Force for a briefing by the operations officer. Gentlemen, I will give you a brief rundown on our present status in Vietnam, together with a thumbnail sketch of the initial landings and subsequent buildup. As you can see on this map, the 17th parallel divides North Vietnam from South Vietnam. Militarily speaking, South Vietnam is divided into...